Welcome to JSA TV and JSA Podcasts, the newsroom for telecom and data center professionals. I'm Carl Sketchley at JSA. Precision OT, a New York-based leading provider of optical transceivers and active passive optical components, is swiftly expanding its presence internationally. Today, I am joined by Anthony Clarkson, Technical Director, EMEA at Precision OT. Anthony, welcome to JSA TV. It's great to be here, Carl. If you could, tell us a bit about Precision's new EMEA leadership team and what you are doing for the company. Okay, well, we've got a great team in place here now to lead the region. Um, between us, we've got over 75 years worth of experience in this market. Um, we've got Rob Harrison, who's heading up the team, um, Melanie Cantalejo, who is running our sales and business development efforts, uh, and I'm leading the technical teams. So as part of my role and my team, we're here to provide technical expertise to our customers, and that's helping them to find the right solutions for their networks and providing them with information about our roadmap and where we see the industry going. That's amazing. Sounds really exciting. Now, Precision OT has been involved in the European market for three years, and we hear that business has been growing consistently. In fact, I think I heard that you tripled your revenue in three years. So why do you think Precision OT has been uh, so successful? Well, I think it's about our approach to the market. So unlike some of our competition, we focus on the, on the service providers. So that's the, the telcos and the cable operators and the big hyperscalers as well. Um, and that gives us a focus. But also we, we provide these fully engineered solutions to our customers. So we help them get the confidence to switch away from their traditional network equipment vendors to use our solutions to save them money. But also with our large inventory, we can give them shorter lead times and give them extra advantages from what they would get from the traditional providers. Wow, that's very insightful. So speaking on that subject, how exactly does Precision OT differentiate itself from other optical network equipment manufacturers? Maybe you can walk us through how you work with customers to deliver the optical networking solutions that they need. Sure. I mean, I, I think it's, it's our engineering bias. It's no secret, a large proportion of our company's engineer, employees are engineers. Um, so with our customers, we provide on-site technical services to help with the certification and standardization of our parts. We've got resident engineers who are based on site and they work alongside the customer and the customer's other equipment vendors to ensure the projects go smoothly because understanding our customers' networks is key to success. And we want to build that partnership with our customers. And we've also got some complementary solutions like Lightseer, which is our network monitoring and analysis tool. And we have a Bluetooth tuning box, which helps our customers to program the wavelength of the transceivers from their phone. So it's bringing extras to that um, service wrap around the transceivers. I see. Thank you for that answer. So 2020 finally seems to be the year of 5G. How is Precision OT actively supporting this new technological rollout? Um, so for 5G, we've got a right, wide range of products that fit there, covering all the components of the, the mobile network. It's not only in the front hall and the back hall where we see the big growth in 5G, but a key part of rolling 5G out is make sure as an operator, you've got the capacity in your backbone to support all this increased traffic and all these increased users. So our 100 and 400 gig solutions will help with the upgrade of the network there. So that's critical as part of the 5G solution. But also uh, we've joined um, a couple of bodies that help with open networking. So we've joined the Telecom Infra Project or TIP. Um, and part of that, they have an open RAN branch where they're looking at how you disaggregate hardware and software within the 5G network. And open RAN is becoming such a popular concept within the mobile world. And I think it's going to be critical to the success of 5G. Amazing. So if we could, let's take some time and make some predictions. Uh, where do you see Precision OT going within the EMEA over the next few years? 
Well, having had um, a sneak peek at some of Precision's internal product development plans, and um, some really exciting products coming down the line that are going to really change and revolutionize the industry. I think our advanced photonics team is a real game changer there. Um, but overall, I see a massive increase in the growth of end user bandwidth requirements, particularly with the big increase recently in working from home, the remote working thing is, is, is pushing the demands of the networks and forcing them to make their upgrades now, um, especially with the 100 gig and the 400 gig in the backbone there. So I think there's a big scope for growth within the network market. And given the size of the EMEA market, um, there's massive scope for this team to make some significant contributions to Precision's overall revenue. So Anthony, where can our viewers go to find more information about Precision OT? Well, you can find more information on our website. That's precisionot.com. Or you can find us on LinkedIn, Twitter, and Facebook. Just search for Precision Optical Transceivers. Amazing. Very insightful answers. Thank you for joining us today, Anthony. We certainly look forward to hearing more about Precision OT in the coming months ahead. And thank you, viewers, for tuning in to JSA TV and JSA Podcasts. Happy networking. Thank you.